from beer bottles to what was once a black art, chemistry. Many of its secrets have, however, since been unlocked by scientists. But we weren't the first chemists. The natural world has been in on the act for the whole of evolutionary time. Given their size, insects are always on someone's menu. Poison can get them off it. But how do they become poisonous? Milkweed makes a poison to protect its leaves from hungry mouths. But try telling that to a milkweed beetle. They not only eat the poison, they store it in their bodies, so becoming deadly themselves, a fact advertised by their bright colours. Sawfly larvae live on pine needles, normally avoided because of their thick, unpalatable resin, but these larvae store the resin in pouches around their mouths. Bugging these caterpillars brings it all back up. A gooey resin bubble sees off tiny attackers, but what about larger threats? <laughs> These Australian sawfly larvae gang together and travel as one. <laughs> Knocking the branch provokes a unified response. Many gummy mouths are unattractive to predators, real or imagined. But chemistry isn't always about deterrence. Utathyza larvae also build up stores of poisons. Whoever nibbles most of the noxious rattleweed grows to be the deadliest. But it's only in controlled conditions that we can see why they do this. Once the larvae have turned into moths, a male looking for a mate brushes a normally hidden structure against a female. The structure's intricate bristles are laden with an aphrodisiac derived from the poison it consumed. Females prefer these alluring males, a new meaning to the term fatal attraction. The next step in this chemical evolution is to produce your own toxin, the Eliodes beetle carries around a personal chemistry lab. When danger approaches, it stands on its head and sprays out chemicals called quinones, which soon irritate these ants, and they give up the chase. The spray even deters bigger beasts. But the attacker isn't your average mouse. It too knows a bit about chemical warfare. By sticking the beetle's backside in the ground, it renders it defenseless and so can eat at its leisure. So if the Eliodes beetle isn't the king of chemists, who is? Undoubtedly, that title goes to the bland-looking bombardier beetle. It's got an interesting trick up its sleeve. Let's see that once again. It's got a literally explosive rear end. When threatened, the beetle mixes together two chemicals kept in separate internal chambers. The explosion is audible, and when the temperature of the blast is measured, it comes out at 100 degrees Celsius. That's some firepower for a tiny beast. Even this toad, when it gets a mouthful of the bombardier beetle's caustic vapour, finally backs off. Mankind invented gunpowder about a thousand years ago, but nature got there long, long before us, 
in that great evolutionary laboratory called life. But evolution is also great at creating countermeasures. The orb web spider is a natural bomb disposal squad. Flying into its web doesn't immediately make the bombardier open fire, nor does being wrapped up in spider silk. By the time the explosive beetle does respond, it's all tied up 